Okay, so we're gonna talk about um basically I guess everything that's going down today in uh, my team. So first and foremost, we got these double tech packs. Secondly, um we got this announcement for the twelve days of giving, and then we're gonna talk about limited because that's also kind of came out today, I guess. But anyways, uh, so um I still don't I still don't get this. I I logged in yesterday or last night and got the reward for today, and I don't know what it means i got the day one did i get a token is there something i got from that uh yeah i don't i don't know but all that for just an amethyst michael jordan i don't know if that's if that's worth it because 12 days is a lot they could they could have threw in a diamond in there 12 days is a long time they definitely could have it's almost two weeks of you know logging in on every day so you definitely definitely could have threw a diamond on there um or unless it's just saying I can get an MJ out of one of these packs. So log in my team for a daily reward. Collect a token a day to get MJ. A token a day. What? Where's the, like to the token counter at? Okay, see that's what I'm gonna get. Unlimited bonus. Why would they get put unlimited? If what? This makes no sense. Why not make this? Cause it's the 14th is. Yeah, the 14th is tomorrow's. Today's the. Today's Friday the 11th. Tomorrow's the 12th, 13th. Yeah, why not just do a limited bonus? I don't know. That seems kind of dumb. Because I'm definitely going to be on unlimited if I'm going to play one of the two, for sure. Well, I don't know. Depends. I don't... I got... We got we to gotta see. Okay, so like I said, we're going to talk about this. Let's talk, first talk about this double take pack. Um, Let's see. Are these... Okay, so there is a guaranteed double take player. Well, I mean, usually they do this if the player... If there's enough players... Like this, they would do a guaranteed pack. Normally, if it's only like seven players, they're not gonna do guaranteed because it, the chances of getting like a the best reward really goes up. And then obviously, if you get if you buy a bunch of guaranteed when there's only like five players, like the the lowest player's price would just be so dirt cheap, and just the other guys would be dirt cheap. Like you know, and then obviously even the top guys will be barely you know much. Alright, so anyways though, oh also it's guaranteed and you can buy with VC. I mean MT. So that's always nice to see. Um. So Dwight, Derrick Rose, Carmelo, Hakeem, um, Sean Kemp, uh, Turkaloof, Patrick Ewing, uh, uh, Bogut, Dominique, Payton, Iverson, Tracy T Mac. All right. So I looked at their stats, and uh, I'm just stay on this screen just just to make it easy. Dwight's basically what you expect from a Dwight. I mean, you know what? I just Let's just go look at the. Let's just go look at the cards, man. Let's just go look at the cards, cause I, I think I think it just I can just point out what they do well, you know. And and then uh, yo, like I said, we're gonna talk about limited. So let me not let me not jump the gun there. But notice how this Dwight is usable for limited. But we're gonna talk about that. Dwight, like I said, does what you expect: defense and you know a lob, you know just a dunker, catches lobs and just a great defense and rebound. So yeah, driving layup, eighty-eight. Uh, no shooting. Nope. He does have post moves. No post fade, but he does have post moves, which does matter. He can do, I guess, post spin off you. Standard dunk and driving dunk. That's all you expect on offense. I guess you can just expect this card to just post spin and catch lobs and things like that. And fast break. Uh, fast break opportunities. Um, no playmaking, but at least he can dribble the ball. Like, if you're at 60, he can put the ball on the, on the floor. He won't. He can't. Like, a lot of players, if their ball handles so low, it's it's not even worth putting the ball on the ground. But he's definitely one that probably could put the ball down. And obviously he will have to if he's going to work for his own buckets in the post. And defense, like I said, the block is there, 96. I think it's just, if not, uh, no, it's probably a higher block range than that. But that's a pretty high. And then 95 interior defense, so really, really solid um, defense there. Rebounding is there, 97, one of the highest. And, and speed, 88. I think Dwight Howard is – now the quickest center in the game. I don't I don't really know if there's anyone that's faster than eighty eight speed that's a center. Um that's six at least is height. If you're like six eight, that doesn't count. I don't like if you're like six eight, six nine, that doesn't count. Six you gotta be like probably six I want I'll say six ten and up for me to consider you a true center um on my team. Uh, but yeah. You I mean you can definitely not to say you can't use a short short center. They definitely work for a lot of teams and how you play. Um but uh, not, not just not to, just to give credit to Dwight Speed. I don't think it's fair to consider those six eight guys uh, on the same level. Um, all right, so rebounding, 
rebound chaser. So just like I said, defense, brick wall, show time. I mean, he's just a center center, man. Like he does exactly what you want from a center. And that's all I can really say about Derek Dwight. I don't want to spend too much time on it because this would make this video a little bit too long. So De Derek Rose, basically, you look, this is what you can get from this pack. I'm going to say this is these cards are essentially – the best version of themselves. This is the best version of Dwight for a pink, pink diamond, best version of Derrick Rose, pink diamond. So you're not getting, you're not actually getting a Cavs alternate, like a Cavs version of Derrick Rose that's a pink diamond, which would be dumb anyway. You're getting the, a Derrick Rose card. Just forget what team he's on. Um, and I, I sometimes feel like, kind of, I feel like that's hard to do when you see a Cavs jersey on him. Like, this Derrick Rose must suck. But no, he's he's basically like a De Bulls Derrick Rose. But, um, Driving lips there, shootings there, 85, uh, three ball, 90, 95 driving duck. So, obviously, based off that driving duck, you know this ain't the Cavs, Derrick Rose. The Cavs, Derrick Rose, I don't even think made a single dunk that season. So, you already know um, you know what we're talking about here. This is just the best version of Derrick Rose. You really could just say it's the, it's, it's the best version of a car, but really with a different look. Sorry, my controller. Ooh, my controller had died there. But, okay, so, um, yeah, you can basically, this is just the best version of Derrick Rose, but just basically with a different, different, um, I guess, look, because this is going to look like modern-day Derrick Rose, uh, but he's going to play like the Bulls era Derrick Rose. All right, so Carmelo, oh, and back to Derrick Rose. I mean, also the quickest, um, he's now, like, on par with, uh, Darren Fox in terms of speed, so both I think the quickest, quickest point guards in the game, um, and yeah, so pretty solid defense too. But well, actually, no, his defense sucks. If he has the same defense as Fox, his defense sucks. Playmakers there, uh, like I said, athletic and shooting is there. Um, so yeah, pretty pretty solid card, and he has also the badges to back it up. Downhill quick first step. Let me just point out some notable ones. Difficult, sh nah, difficult shots in the match. Contact finisher. Uh, catch and shoot. So look at his dad. Does he have corner specialist? Clamps. That's interesting. On gold. Gold clamps. So his defense will actually probably show corner specialist. Okay, there it is. Is this? Did someone add this to this court? No, he just comes with it. Okay. Okay, okay. Carmelo, as you expect from a Carmelo. Post, post phase there. Uh, solid shooting, I guess you could say, uh, driving dunks there. I mean, his, you know, just inside dunking is there. Um, defense is there. Speed is not the fastest, especially since he's only 6'9", but, um, yeah, that's what you expect. Hakeem is one of the cards I'm looking into. Um, I always look, like, like, I always want a Hakeem, but they always use your the best card in a set. This is one of the first times Hakeem isn't the best card in a set in a while. I think I could be just talking a bit. I feel like Hakeem's always usually the top one or two car in, in a set, and now he's not. So he's usually always super expensive, and hopefully I should be able to grab this one. Um, within, once his price drops, probably by tomorrow. So, um, yeah. Uh, so he's, you know, he's a post, 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 post god is what you expect from Hakeem. Um, Hakeem the dream. And then he can he can shoot a midi. Three balls kind of there. It's not terrible. I think you can't you can't leave him open is what I'm, I'm I want. I don't I don't really I don't ever really get to shoot my center anyway, so I never see a point. What I do when when people paint it, if you if you camp the paint, I I usually get to show out my center shooting ability, but normally I don't. I think 77 is good enough where I think I should, people wouldn't just leave him alone. If his release is solid, I should better knock some corner shots down or so. I got I got to look at his badge and see what. But anyways, um. Defense is there, solid defender, which we expect. 77 speed, so pretty quick as well. Um, not the quickest, obviously. We just looked at the white, but pretty quick. The seven foot um, post man, rim protector, intimidator. We already know he a dream shake, of course, on Hall of Fame. Okay, okay, so this is what I was looking for. Catch and shoot. Catch and shoot goes a long way. Pick and pop goes a long way. Okay, so just those two is enough for me to to just tell me that that 77 would probably be really, really solid. If, you, if his release isn't terrible. 77-3, it should be all right. With catch and shoot, and if, if he's coming off a, a, a pick and fade, um, that would be pretty nice. Does he have 
And he has Hazel Hunter. If he has any Hazels in a corner, can he get – wait. What I'm curious is can he get corner – yeah, he can get – okay, he can get corner specials. So, I don't – oh, he lacks clamps, though. And he lacks a couple badges. But either way, um, yeah, I think – okay, you can you can put the right badges on him to make him a really solid corner shooter, if not just a straight-up, you know, a, a decent shooter. All right, so. Oh, just because I'm talking about Hakeem, don't 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 get any ideas. Don't get him. I don't want his price to go up. But anyways, um, Sean Kemp is what you expect. Um, he usually can shoot a little bit. Yep, he, he has an 83 ball here, 97 drive, 96 driving dunk, 97 standing. So you know what you expect. Solid speed. Um, no defense, honestly. Uh, but you know he should have. You know he doesn't even have. He doesn't even have con contact finisher on Hall of Fame. Is what I was expecting. It should be somewhere on gold. Quick first step. Oh, does he not? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there it is. Contact finisher. I was gonna say that would make no sense. Not that. Uh, Turkulu is probably one of the probably gonna be one of the most expensive cars this weekend, simply because it. Uh, oh no, he already dropped the twenty five. Maybe not. He seemed pretty pretty lit. Twenty one. Oh, he, he he must suck. Something must be wrong about this car. His price is really dropping. He's going for twenty k. No, I'm I'm. He's going for like eighteen. 19. Wow, that is insane. Okay, I don't know why. I looked at him earlier. Solid shooting. He he you can use him this week on limited. So I don't. I thought his price would be pretty high. Driving. He has a solid driving dunk. And one thing I noticed. I looked glanced at him really fast earlier. His uh, you know, he even has a little bit of defense. Honestly, just a little bit. And his speed is what I was looking at. He's not slow. As slow as I was expecting. So I don't see any problems with this car. Honestly, wait. Can he put the 80 83 ball handle? Yeah, he can put the ball down. Um, consistency, 95, corner, catch and shoot, corner. Like, I don't see any problems with this car. Unless his, his release got, had, must be terrible. Quick first step, downhill. Yeah, this car, he will, his, he will even be pretty darn quick on fast breaks. This is always one thing I look for in cars, especially like a Turkoglu, a shooter. I want, I want to know, are you going to be able to get down the court on a fast break and give me buckets? I don't want you to, you know, lollygag. Especially, I like my, my, my one through, even four, I would even say, one through four, to be able to get down the court really quick on fast breaks to get some easy buckets. I don't know why he's going for this cheap. Maybe because so many people are opening packs. I don't know. I honestly don't know. But, yeah, he's going for pretty darn low at, at less than 20K. So, that's pretty nice. And I so, yeah, and look at, um, let me keep going here. I was going to say, if he's going for under 20, everyone else has to be going for under 20. Okay, there, okay. Patrick is too. Not really much you can hear. He doesn't even have like a 73 ball, which would have pretty much made him vi a viable option um, to have. But since he doesn't even have that three ball, I don't really see a reason to get him. So many better amethyst centers, I think, um, or even just diamond centers. They're just a little bit more expensive than him. Uh, there's nothing really here that sticks out. He's super slow. Um, his defense isn't like, you know, his defense is solid, but that's like the only thing I think I see out of this car. Solid defense. And... He, oh, he has a pretty solid post fade. Okay, I give him that post fade. He can dunk, and he can shoot a mid range. That's about it. Andrew Bogut. Um, I didn't look at this card actually. Almost bought that. Um, no three. Okay. No post fade. So okay, okay. Dunk. I mean, just average dunk stats for a center. Uh, defense is okay. I guess his defense is his highlight. Rebound, solid rebounder. A little bit slow. Consistency is there though. He has really high consistency. Um, but other than that, like I don't like you can't shoot with this card at all. So but Dominique, uh only thing I guess you can really expect out here is just he's a solid dunker. Um speed is solid, I guess. Uh and he and he's a viable option for limited. I was gonna say that's pretty if he can be on limited catch and shoot. Uh what was his shooting rating? Seventy seven. Okay, not really not really the best. Okay. But anyways, defense not too great. I mean, for Ruby, he's solid. Solid car for Ruby. I think uh, he has some solid badges, and he just has some solid stats. Um, if you if you are more of a slasher, he's probably pretty. He's probably a pretty solid pickup for your budget squad. I mean, most of these new Ruby cars have a lot of good badges, so that's what kind of elevates them above like old Rubies. Like okay, Gary Payton here. His badges have to carry this card because I didn't see nothing good about him. He can't. He's 73 ball. I mean, who did we see earlier? Hakeem Olajuwon. That Dom Hakeem had a, a higher three ball than this Gary Payton. I mean, 
it's nothing. Like, his driving dunk, is, he doesn't have a driving dunk, which I don't think he really ever really did, but his, she can't even shoot is what you want out of point guard. His playmaking isn't even that high. He's a lockdown defender, which is, I guess, what we're, what we're looking for here, but as a as a point guard, it really doesn't help. I honestly, I've, I mean, I don't, it really, you can't, you really just can't. It's hard to shut down other point guards this year. I don't think even having these stats will help you that much. But he can't do anything else on the other end. He can play defense, and that's it. Speed's okay enough. Maybe he can get down the court on a fast break to score a layup. But other than that, like, I don't not expect anything from this car offensively. And I don't just need, a, I don't need only a defender point guard. Like, a point guard, a defending point guard is the last thing I need. He does have every pretty much badge you need for defending, tireless defending, like every badge I think possible for a, a point guard, interceptor, bailout, and some playmaking badges. Yeah. All right. Um, but yeah, he's a viable option this weekend, too. I mean, if he if he's a really lockdown, then that would be pretty cool, I guess. But other than that, I don't see a reason. Iverson, um, yeah, he's, he's bad, too. Only thing I can say about him, I think he's quick. He can't shoot with same same three balls as Hakeem. <laughs> um, his he's solid. His speed's solid. I think that's the only thing I can really say about him. It is a few goals. He has a quite, quite a bit of uh, badges. Trace McGrady also is bad. Um, yeah, just I mean. Yeah, unless his release is really good, I don't I don't think it's any reason to use this card. Except unless like I was gonna say, unless this week's limited with sapphires only or something like that. I mean it's no reason to pick up this card unless unless for a later um later date in um limited. Limit like only time any of these like lower tier cards are viable is for limited and that's only like so many days out the uh out it's gonna be out the year anyway, so um yeah, but that's about it. So Nothing too crazy. A couple of a couple of gems in there. Probably pretty much everyone that's like amethyst and up is probably viable. Except maybe Patrick Ewing. Patrick Ewing was amethyst, right? Yeah. It's maybe everybody from like uh, Turkulu and up. So I don't know why Turkulu is going for so cheap either. Um, but yeah. So um, okay, let's let's talk about um, limited now. So you got to use. Players who played for five or more NBA teams. All eligible cards are marked with the limited sticker. So let's build my team and see how it's looking. So this is my limited. This was my last last week's limited squad. You know, everyone had to be Ruby, and you could have one dominant up. I was using Jalen Brown just to flex. So they already knew I had completed my limited challenges. But anyways, uh, so we're just gonna sub in the best best players we have. Okay, Kudelka is not bad. Oh, how did I? How did I get okay? Um oh Chuck Pearson. Okay, this is gonna set me apart. This is one of my best cards. Chuck Pearson is the best shooter I know. 80, 89 three ball. Now that's not not the greatest. I mean I mean this is pretty top tier. I mean any like I've only seen like not like the highest three balls I've really seen is like ninety one. I think I saw maybe 95 from that Dirk that just came out or something like that. But anyways, this is a really solid three ball. 89 is solid, especially you give him a, a shoe plus your coach is going to be about like mid to 90. So, yeah. And that's why, by the way, if you didn't know, that's why they, they keep limiting these three balls to so low, like 89 and stuff. It's because they don't want. So, anyways, solid. Like, and he can do pretty much everything a small forward can do. Um, he can, you know, solid playmaking, I guess. Uh, defense is solid i guess um speed is solid i guess um you know just a really solid card um not like not overall too great or anything in, in 98 offensive consistency and then what really sets him apart is his badges he has hall of fame corner specialist and hall of fame hot zone hunter so he can hit every shot in the corner contested it doesn't matter he has hot zones in the corner and he has corner specialist hall of fame and he has hot zone hunter hall of fame Catch and shoot, go. If that was Hall of Fame, he would probably never miss. Um, and he pretty much has every other sh badge you can want. A steady shooter, a green room machine, flexible release, clutch shooter, pick and pop, um, difficult shots. So you could even take fadeaways from the corner and probably make every single one of them. Volume shooter as well. I think the only thing is, is you can, and you can give him pretty much like 
you can make him whatever you want. You can make him a, a a post player as well. He can get post moves like drop step or post spin, put back balls. He can also get uh, become defensive. He got pick dodger, chase down artist, um, pickpocket, clamps, defensive leader, and he can also, I think. That was that's pretty much it. You can make him a, a slasher, or you can make him really a good inside defender. So that's kind of the two things you can do with him, because he can get pretty much every badge. And uh, yeah, why not? And you can also even just make him a better shooter by giving him deep fade, high start, range extender, you know, stuff like that. So, anyways, and dead eye. So I didn't really realize this card was. I was gonna better use this card. I did not know who's on that many teams, but that immediately is okay. That's solid. Great. I, I needed a player like that. That was going to carry me. Okay. Don't need Bird. Antonio Walker. All right. I'm, I'm not expecting to see too many of this guy, but if, you, if I'm expecting to see a decent amount. Um, but he is a solid shooter. What's his height? 6'8". Who's taller? Do I need to rotate? Okay. Both same height. All right. It doesn't matter. Uh, and then Swan Nader. I mean, Swan Nader is so bad. I almost, like, is there any anybody else? <laughs> Honestly, is my, my train of thought here. Like, because he, he doesn't. Offer me even does he offer me defense? If he gives me defense, okay. Uh, 88 block 84 interior. He's super slow. He's a solid rebounder. What's his height again? 6'11. Well, he is tall. Like, he can't do nothing else. He can standard knocks pretty solid, though. I'll give him that. He does have a little bit of post fade. I don't know how I'm not big on post fading this year. I was really big on it. In previous years, uh, but definitely not this year. Box, uh, Lopsy finish from Dream Shake. Does he have like Rim Protector? No. Okay, I, I wasn't looking at all his badges because I was on. I was on. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm I'm slow. Put a uh, box rebound chaser. Put back. Okay, he's gonna get. He's gonna come down with every rebound. I can tell you that. Okay, does have Rim Protector, Dream Shake, Brick Wall, Drop Stepper, Trapper Towers. Okay, Intimidate. Okay, okay, probably. Okay, I'll I'll accept that. Let me actually let me go to point guards. Is there Stephen Marbury? Is also like if I don't want to, I I really like Dale Curry as an option. He's a straight up shooter, and it's this lineup gives me straight shooters. Um, and he's a great slash. Okay, ninety six P. Yeah. Alston is uh really quick. I can't remember when I got him. Oh yeah 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 for doing all the challenges last uh. Okay, so let's see what else we got here. Oh no no no! no. Mac, I could use. Hmm. Wait, what's this height? Six nine. It's kind of small. He could actually probably be a better. Hmm. He might be a better center option. So, sorry to say, my team is definitely not a team everyone's going to have. This is a triple threat um, triple threat offline card that I got from opening the vault. These two are triple threat um, online cards you get from winning at the top tier. This guy, you get from a challenge. Curry, Dale Curry is probably the only guy you could probably get. Because he isn't auctioned, but I pulled this card, as you can see at the bottom. I just happened to pull him. And some of the other guys, like, this is a token reward, so everyone should be able to have him. But my, my lineup here, besides Dale Curry, is, is going to be pretty pretty limited. I don't think a lot of people are going to have these this lineup. Nader is not good, by the way, though. But everyone else um, is pretty solid. Oh, Jeff Green still a, a viable option here. Barbosa still an option. Okay, okay. Let me finish... Filling it in. Okay, Marbury. Marbury, I guess. Marbury has no defense is what I'm scared of. But, I mean, just a straight slasher. All right, so who else we got? These, okay, we have DL. So, DL is also one of my um, one of my guys I like to use. Now we need a uh, Hughes. Okay, we go with Hughes. I'm trying to put them in order of position. Uh, let's see. I don't know yet when I, if I'm going to leave D out at the four or the three. It's all about Christian Late. I hate his release, so no. 
But yeah, I definitely probably need a shooter. Wait, is it Scott? Are you a shooter? Oh yeah, A plus. Nine. Oh yeah. Are you slow, Dennis Scott? Let me okay. What, what's 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 good about you, Dennis Scott? He, I feel like with a three ball like that, he's got to be slow. He has a solid driving dunk as well. He's got to be slow. Ninety seven. I mean seventy eight. I said ninety seven. <laughs> ninety seven. Where did I even get that from? All right, seventy eight. That's not terribly slow. That's the same speed as my uh. The same speed as Chuck Pearson. So. Uh, catch and shoot corners. Okay, so solid shooter. I think we'll go with you. And he can play shooting guard too. What's his height? Oh no, we're definitely in a small for it though. At that height. DL. Uh, okay, so. Yeah. And then let's. Let me just get like the worst limited player I have. Oh, wait. We actually have some rubies in here. I don't necessarily need, like, a... Oh, is Randolph's on here? When did, I didn't think Randolph was on that many teams, was he? Mark Jackson's pretty solid. Oh, Rondo's definitely super solid. Kenny Smith's solid. Uh, I may pick Kenny instead of Stefan. Well, they both suck on defense. Let me see here. World be free is pretty solid too. I know it's three balls, all right. But what doesn't he do bad? I think he's just he's just not quick. I think. No, he's pretty. Eighty five is pretty solid. This Barbosa car is ninety five speed. What the heck? I did not know that about that Barbosa car. All right. Uh, Nick Van Nex was also good, I guess. Is he, if, wait, if he can't get rebounds, I don't want him. That's all I really need him for is rebounds. Driving nuts. He, can, he, doesn't have, he has a mid range too, so that's nice. Speed's kind of slow. Uh, all right, let me go. I don't know. He has a lot of offensive. Okay, rim protector. He does have that. Chase down artist plus one. Uh, I'm, on, I'm on the fence about him, honestly. A lot of these are all token rewards, pretty much. Token reward, token reward. Or these are all like reward cards, so. I haven't even looked at, like, okay, I know you can buy Kenny Smith is one. Richard Jefferson. Oh, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, he might have to go in the lineup. Can he play shooting guard? No. Uh wait this then a Scott could play play shooting guard. I don't think I want Hughes then. Hughes does give me good defense though. He does give me defense. Just not the just not the I don't know. It's a lot it's a lot of decision making here. You can use Nate, but I don't think I don't think Nate's viable here. Uh, I'm trying to think of someone that's not Owen or not. I don't like looking at reward cards. If you got Amethyst, Derrick Rose, he's definitely a probably good option. Only have the Sapphire one. No, George Hill. Uh, if I can avoid using Sapphires, I would definitely will. Justin Holiday's been on five teams already. My God. All right. 
I think uh, we're throwing some of these guys in there. Let me just throw some of my um my silvers in there. I don't. I feel like Diffie is a lot of people that's got a better team than me for sure. Definitely a lot of silver. I think teams that could be better than mine. I, I know, like, I, you definitely want to get on a jump on this before people, before the, um, like, all right, let me go look. Let's go look. What they had at. Two more, two more hours before Dwight Howard, uh, before people start getting Dwight and stuff. So, once, once, once these guys start coming out, it's gonna be pretty tough once you like the people that that spend money or even if someone if someone looked up and pulled them, it's gonna be pretty tough to go against these guys with with like the current teams some of you guys have. I already know like my team is probably like looking at my team. My whole lineup is is like everyone except Dale Curry you cannot get unless you just happen to already having to got them like you cannot get these cards. I think you can still get Antonio Walker right now. I think actually, but who wants to grind? Yeah, you could. Who wants to grind him out? You know, to who wants to like grind this out to potentially not get him in time for this uh, limited? So, I think it's too late now if you don't already have him. Swan Aider's not even an option no more. Chuck Pierce is not an option no more. Rayford's not an option no more. Um, yeah, Marbury's still an option if you're pretty close on. You know, the rest of these guys are just rewards. Like, uh, I can't remember exactly. Domination, I don't know where just Dennis Scott came from, to be honest. Was he the reward I got for completing this? Wait, let me look at these guys. Are these? Oh, oh, these are viable options, too, if you want. Marquise. I mean, not Marquez, Uh, Spates and um, Oakley. I don't. I don't know what they are, what their stats are looking like, but uh, those are some viable options if you want to want to get those guys too, and as well as um, let me look, let me do some searching for you guys here. Let me okay. So I know I know one thing for sure. You that Turkulu actually speaking of Turkulu, I might mm, no Dial's fine. Dial's Dial's good enough, I think. But Turkulu, I don't think is a bad option, especially if you want. Like if you just want to add some shooting to your your lineup, if not just your bench, um, but yeah, to keep an option though. Okay. I should have had a list ready for this video, but I didn't. I mean, I look at price. Uh, like I said, I told you if you got the amateurs, Dirk Rose. Isaiah Thomas, I bet. Karan Butler. I don't know much. I think this Karan card's a god, is it not? I, I heard good, I've heard good things about it on next gen, I believe. I heard this Karan solid on next gen. I think. So not a bad card. I'm I think it was only next gen though. Uh, I was gonna say if Danny Granger, Danny Granger wouldn't have been bad if he was Comes with teams. Uh, is it all of the potential? Any good centers on Amethyst? I don't think so. It would have been nice if Powell was an option. Oh, Shaq's... Oh, I forgot about Amethyst Shaq. Amethyst Shaq's a very viable option. Amethyst Shaq is definitely a viable option. I forgot he that card existed. What about... uh Any power forward? I, don't, I think we looked at all of those already. Small forwards. I know... Karan Butler was one. Larry can't. I think he's just a solid dunker. Yeah, that was about it. He can't shoot. He can dunk. 
Let me look up higher. I don't think on the top of my head. I don't think any of the point guard, diamond point guards have. I don't think any of those guys have been on multiple teams. Uh, Wilt. Oh, uh, David Robinson hasn't been on that many times. I was going to say, uh, David Robinson would have been a really solid option. A re actually, sp speaking of, okay. I, actually, I was thinking about getting Hakeem, like I just mentioned earlier, but I might I need to compare him, that Hakeem to this David Robinson and see who's better. I was I was looking to get this David Robinson a long time ago. Now was, now was a good time to grab him. Uh, well, I looked up, and Moses Malone is actually a viable option. Like, we already know about the white. I don't think, there's no point looking at pink diamonds because most of these guys are going to probably be too expensive. And I don't think any of these pink diamonds really have that many teams either. Oh, I forgot about Jamal. I mean, Jamal Crawford. He's definitely going to be someone I'm going to see a lot. T Mac also. Any, I think all of those uh, possessed guys, Vince Carter, except everyone except James Harden, I think is, is a viable option. Yeah, Vince Carter is definitely an option. So you, you can run into some scary teams. I don't think you know it's gonna happen. Um, but yeah. But anyways, I think uh yeah, just just do some searching, man. There's definitely some viable cards out there. I, I'm glad I don't have to make build a team. I think a lot of people will have to spend some MT this weekend to make a viable team option. So um, expect you know buy soon. I guess before prices really go up and uh, hope for the best. But yeah, this weekend. Uh, a lot of a lot of good stuff, man. A lot of good stuff. Twenty days given, limited. Then these new packs. I mean, a lot of good stuff. So get on the grind, man. And let me look at these challenges before I I get off here real fast and see. Is there a new? Okay, no. So no. Can we? Is there a chance we can get Morris Peterson still? I still need this man. I didn't even. I didn't realize how to get him. But you get him through plan limited, and I didn't know that. And I. Hopefully, I still get a chance to get him this week. I have li literally everyone else except Morris Peterson. Ah. Where is it? All right, here it is. Everyone but Morris Peterson. So, yeah. But anyways, yeah, man. Hope you guys enjoy it. Real diversity. We are out. Peace.